There are several genres that feature nylon string guitars that are really good, very enjoyable to play, and we're gonna talk about those. Educate me. What's going on, Sean? Oh man, nothing much. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for having me at your YouTube channel. You know, no, what do you mine, think actually, of these in your house. Yeah, my house, your <laughs> channel. What do you like these chairs? I like them. I don't like chairs without arms. So there are still arms, but they're good. They're guitar friendly arms. Yes. Yeah. That's the trick. Well, you gotta use a one butt chick technique mm. where one is hanging mm. in the air and the other one is actually ah, you're a master supported, of you know? Ah. A lot of people play the acoustic guitars with the steel strings and they are like, should I play nylon string? And what music? I would say classical guitar, a lot of arpeggio. There's a lot of arpeggio and you kind of have to learn to read music, but it doesn't take as long as people think. Okay. There's also tabs for those who don't like to read music. There are tabs for classical guitar. That would be And it's me. a beautiful, it's a beautiful technique that you develop. You use your your fingernails. You even change the posture on your guitar. You I've a, seen that. They get go, a little stool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can use your foot. That's a hack. Oh. You step on your own foot. And now you have the, the guitar right here where you can reach all the notes real fast. It takes time to get used to this position. Sure, and yeah. you have to have like a straight back. Yeah, relax your shoulders. There's a whole thing. Yeah. I feel classier doing it this way. You, you do. Classy. You do look classier. Yeah. Thank you. I'll take it. So classical guitar is is one. Now, if you don't want to go into classical guitar, you can try the bossa nova from Brazil. Mm -hmm. Beautiful kind of music. Oh. Bossa Nova, it's another beautiful, beautiful kind of music. A lot of harmony. So that's a great way to learn all your chords. Would it be uh, right to be like Bossa Nova is more focused on the rhythm of the playing than maybe classical, more being kind of like the timbre and the texture and the tempo and stuff? You could say that. You learn so much about all these chords that I didn't know they existed. Oh, for sure. I it's love incredible. It. Uh -huh. So it's closer to jazz, you know? Yes. So, but it's way better than jazz, in my opinion. So, I'm a Bossa Nova guy, oh, too. Same. I love it. Joe Beam. Joe Beam. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Another genre suggestion okay. would be Trova. What? A lot of people don't know it. It's not a mainstream. It's not a commercial kind of music. And basically, it started as a protest. Really? You know, that kind of thing, sure, like yeah. political kind of thing. Now, currently, it's mostly about like uh, expressing yourself, like the art of poetry into music. It's beautiful because... Yes, a lot of arpeggio. Reminds me of classical guitar. It's a very nice genre to play like classical guitar, but also sing. So how is it different than... Classical or bossa nova? Because it's focused on the lyrics of this of the song. Flamenco is another great genre to play on an island string guitar. You wouldn't use the the blues scale, right? Right. right. When you're playing flamenco. Now watch when I play this different uh, scale. Flamenco will help you with that, with learning a different scales that are beautiful and they sound incredible on nylon mm -hmm. string. And then you also get to learn all these rhythms, all these patterns, like, like ras, rasgado or uh -huh. abanico. different chords you learn different so it's a very good genre okay to, i'm not a flamenco player but i enjoy me. the heck Could have out of me it. this guitar by the way it was sent to me a long time ago by a very nice guy at ortega guitars custom master selection this was built in spain handmade so was this one right? cordoba 55 fc true yeah hey smell it oh my gosh that's the, that's oh. the thing i enjoy the most oh. every time 
Every time I open the case, I that's what that. I enjoy the most. Bolero would be the last genre I want to suggest for you to try out. But I believe it was in Cuba and it traveled to Mexico. Mexico Bolero is very different from Cuba and Bolero. It's basically a very romantic kind of music. This is what we sing when we're... Uh, You're courting a beautiful woman. When we're courting a beautiful yeah, yeah. woman in Mexico. We go into the to the house in the middle of the night. That's it. Yeah. And we sing a Bolero song, right? Like, like, like this. Oh, the girls love that. Eres mi bien lo que me tiene extasiado Por que negar que estoy de ti enamorado De tu dulce alma Que es toda sentimiento so it's very romantic, a lot of major seven chords, and it's beautiful. And if they like you, the woman you're courting will like turn the light on, mm. right? And, okay. then, and then it will come out to greet you. Yeah. If they don't like you, they will call the police. They will call, yeah. well, they will like throw a bucket of water or something. Oh, ouch. <laughs> I could be wrong. I That's didn't it. inform myself. It's a very old That's tradition. never happened to you, huh? You well, got, they got a lot of lights turned well. on. Huh? <laughs> One last thing. You could play anything on a nylon string guitar, by the way. Mm -hmm. I got American friends that play American blues on a nylon string guitar. So, yeah. Just like I will say, yeah, like yeah. I've actually played full gigs with one of your nylons before. What, what am I going I borrowed your go down before. Yeah, and like yeah, I played all. And top how was 45. it? How did it go? It was great because it's easier on your fingers. It's easier on your fingers, right? That steel is it. string, especially playing a lot of bar chords or whatever. Yeah. Steel string can like over a three or four hour gig. Yeah, it's like whew. And a couple of things to consider is the width of the nut and yeah. the, the, the arm of the guitar. It is thicker on a classical guitar. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. If you're used to the skinny guitar like this and you're, you're used to doing all the John Mayer songs the and thumb putting, over, putting your thumb yeah, over yeah. yeah you don't really do that on a classical guitar I never that's one of the first that's things not, I yeah. learned on when I was uh, taking classical guitar lessons mm -hmm. one of the main things and the first thing they say is like don't use your thumb your yeah. thumb should stays be the hidden back, behind middle, right yeah uh -huh. so it's and different so isn't, that, isn't that what they have like this strip because it shows you like where to put your thumb like down the yeah. back I, think I didn't right. know that yeah. but um, now I learned something yeah, from I you think that, I think that's <laughs> Yeah, so when I started playing the John Mayer songs, I'm like, oh, oh, he puts a thumb over here. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. Yeah, right. With I am guitar. driving up 85 in the kind of morning. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. It's a great song. By the way. Bucket of water. For you, <laughs> Bucket of water. Yeah, it sounds romantic. <laughs> yeah. No, I love John Mayer, just to make it clear. <laughs> just to make it clear. Just to make it clear. I, I was just so. making a joke. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you learned something. Thanks for educating me. I, cause I had no idea I was like getting out on spring. Like I've heard different genres, but I don't really. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>